Microsoft 365 Copilot is hailed by Microsoft to be the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. Well, in today's video, we're going to have a look at the features and benefits, as well as explore some of the limitations of Copilot within Microsoft PowerPoint. If you like content like this, I would appreciate a like and subscribe, and please feel free to comment down below if you learnt something new. Without further ado, let's jump into it. The first thing you need to do once you've opened your PowerPoint is to ensure that your file is inside the OneDrive. The second thing is to make sure your autosave is on right here, and you should have your Copilot icon here. Now, if for some reason it's greyed out like the designer, that means you haven't activated your license and you simply come across to file account and you would update your license right there. Let's go back and click onto Copilot and you can see that there are chats and response right here. So you can create a presentation and you can add a slide. What we're going to do is create a presentation. So when you click on that, simply gives you a prompt to start. Let's create a presentation with seven slides for a business pitch on a health and wellness project for investors, add global numbers and team size, as well as an investment required of, let's say, $1 million. Now let's see what Microsoft PowerPoint comes up with. There you go. I'm not able to do that. Is there something else that I can help you build? So here we go. We are too detailed with what we need. We just need to make it a little bit more simple. Give me a presentation on a health and wellness business for investors. There you go. Let's type that in and see what happens right there. Looking things over and let's see if we are able to do look. Now with the Copilot, it does recognize some of your spelling mistakes and it will work on that while it can make sense out of what's happening. So there you go. It's created us a pitch with six slides. First one is a slide and it also gives you some of the blurb. When you are presenting, you have something a little bit more to talk about. You also have market trends and it gives you some numbers and projections as well as a blurb that once again, you when you're presenting, you can have a look at. So our business, the range, so not bad. Now, say there's something that you don't like, we could potentially ask to revise the images on slides two and five. Let's have a look at what it does for us. We can simply see if it's going to make sense and change to a better image right there. There we go. We have a new image right here and actually we're expecting a new image, but there you go. Once again, it doesn't know how to do that try to rephrase the question. Add an image on slide two. Let's see if it does it one by one. Now with any typos, let's see if it also detects and generates. So here we go. It asks me to actually add pictures from insert tab. Doesn't really have the capability right now to change the images. You have to live with the images that you have. Another way to overcome it is perhaps the designer tab and the designer tab can help you to change the different images over here, which is a feature that was available before Copilot. So it's something that you can simply click on to to have a look. Now, once again, let's go to view prompts over here and see what else we can do. You can create edit and ask. We can ask. Let's have a look at, let's go and see what prompts we can have. So we can ask, what is the total revenue of the market? So we could even ask it something like that and see where it gives us the information. 
Does it extract the information from the presentation or is it something that it's not able to answer? Let's see and test this out. So there you go. It does tell you according to the market, it's six trillion. Well, you did get a little bit of data out of that. Now let's go down here and view the prompts. Click onto that. You come up to the co-pilot lab. So you can just make this bigger or you can go and into the tab right here. And once you're in the co-pilot lab, you can have a look at all the prompts that you need and try them out to see what it can do for you. Okay, let's try one more thing. And let's say I would like a transition between each slide. So let's see if that's something it's able to do or is it something that PowerPoint with Copilot is not able to do right now? Okay, here you go, a transition has been added. Change the fade to a more energetic transition. Let's see if it understands what I mean and see if it's able to use that description and add it to each. There you go, the transition has added as a fly through. So let's go. You can see that each of these have a transition, so you can add that. And you can see right here. And there we go. So that is something that's pretty useful in the way that you use Copilot for. Well, I hope that's given you an overview of how Copilot works with a Microsoft PowerPoint. Today, it has its limitations, but can help you do things like transitions, create images, and create also decks and things that you could build on. Is it perfect? Not yet. But is it going to get better? Of course, AI day by day is going to get better and better. Now, if you would like to have some more of the prompts, please check in the description below for a free download of Copilot prompts. And until next time, enjoy.